Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have an Alta haul. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done one of these videos. I got some goodies. So let's dive into everything because I'm really excited about these products that I just picked up. Let's start off with this bag right here. The Ulta Fall Haul is going on right now as I'm filming this. So I really wanted to take advantage of this sale. So if you're not familiar with the Fall Haul, they usually do this after the 21 Days of Beauty. And it's done twice a year. So they have like, I think the Spring Haul and then the Fall Haul. I personally think this sale is better than the 21 Days of Beauty because you can just shop it anytime between the window and there's not certain deals on certain days. You just shop in during the time frame. I want to start off with these two palettes that I picked up recently. So Flower Beauty finally dropped new palettes. I feel like it's been years since they came out with more palettes like these. If you're not familiar with this formula, these look like liquid metal on the eyes. It's one of my favorite drugstore eyeshadow formulas. They are so beautiful. This one is Garden Lights. I think out of the two new ones that they came out with, this one is my favorite. But it is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Just look at how reflective it looks. Now, the only thing that I don't love is that the shipping, getting these palettes shipped, they always come broken. Like, I was so mad because when Ulta shipped this package out, I received it. And they both were kind of messed up. So I just like didn't want to go through the process of getting new ones. Ulta shipped these between like a tiny little sheet of bubble wrap. I'm going to swatch some of these shades. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is a drugstore formula. And mind you, this is a more expensive palette at the drugstore. But I just feel like these are worth every single penny. I like the garden lights because you have like those mauve colors, purple, green, gold. I just, I love this color story. Now, this color story is the Coastal Lights. And this one is more pastel leaning. I feel like this one's a lot more pastel. These shades are still really buttery, but they just almost feel like a cream, which is so interesting. But, oh. They are beautiful. As you can see, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful formula. Really creamy, very impactful on the eyes. I love these and I'm so happy they came out with new palettes. I feel like I've been asking for some for the longest time. I picked up two pairs of Kiss Lashes. A lot of people were raving about this particular line. This is the Lash Couture The Muses collection. I'm not too sure if this is limited edition, but I picked up two styles. So the first style I got is the style Legacy. And then this one is Nobelese. Both of these styles look really beautiful and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna like, but I wanted two to try them out. Now these I am so excited about. I am wearing one of these shades right now, but I finally got the CoverGirl Yummy Glosses. And what really made me wanna buy these was they won an Allure you know, award. And I love looking at that every year just to see what people are loving that I haven't tried. And these were on there and I was like, you know what? I know they just expanded their shade range. Let me get these and try them out. So I tried them out for the first time today and they're good. <laughs> they're so good. So this is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today in the shade, I see you later. And when I was applying this, First of all, the doe foot, really nice. It's very interesting. I've never seen a doe foot like this. It's kind of like flat, but also thick at the same time. But what's so interesting about this gloss is that as I was applying this, I was like, what does this smell and taste like? And when I tell you this tastes like the Trix cereal, it smells like Trix cereal. It tastes like Trix cereal. And I was like, I like this. While the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is still going on, I'm gonna pick up more of these because they are too good. And I love the shine that it gives to the lips. They're really comfortable. If you apply too much, it can be a little bit sticky. Other one I picked up is called Coconuts About You. And what I love about both of these that I bought was that they smell and taste differently. This one has like a nice coconutty 
kind of scent and smell to it. And I don't like coconut scented things, but I like how this smells. It smells really good. It smells like a pina colada. Pick this up from Florence by Mills. So I really was in the market for, you know, under eye kind of treatments to hydrate under the eyes and things like that. And I've tried her purple ones, the ones that look like whales. And I really love them. And I saw that this one was new and a lot cheaper, but you do get half the amount. It comes with 30 patches and a little spatula, but this is the hydrating under eye gels. So I wanna give this a try and see. I don't want to open it right now because I'm not ready to use it yet, but I'm excited. I looked at the reviews online and a lot of people are loving them. So I have high hopes for those. Okay, now this, I'm sorry, but Miss Kathleen Lights, she truly influenced this purchase. But you guys, LA Girl came out with these Shade Shifter Duochrome eyeshadows. I've already swatched these two, but when I tell you if you want an affordable duochrome shadow, this one is called Jade, but you kind of can see this one has like a blue green shift to it. You see this blue green shift on camera. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like the way that they shift, it's so dramatic. Like it's really hard to find duochromes that have an intense shift like these and these are so affordable. But I wanted more shades, but of course they only had these two in stock. The other shades were sold out, but I'm gonna go online and order the other shades because these are too good. This one is called Topaz. This one has a purple blue shift. Let me swatch it so you can see it better, but oh, so pretty. Look at that, it's stunning. But these are literally so amazing. I cannot wait to get these on the eyes. It's probably really hard to see on camera, the shifts, but affordable, really eye-catching, really excited to put those on the eyes to see how they wear, if I'm gonna need a glitter glue. You know, I just really wanna test those out. Finishing off this small bag, I did just get the Rem Beauty foundation. I have been wearing this and trying this out and I really, really love this foundation. This is not an everyday foundation for me. This is more of like a full glam, going to a party, concert kind of situation, but I've really been loving this. I love that there's skincare infused in this foundation as well. So this was a great purchase and a great release from Rem Beauty. Let's get into the big bag. I just picked up a second primer brush from Real Techniques. But I love this primer brush. I just wanted another one because when the first one's dirty, I can just go to this one. I got this mirror right here. I saw this online and I really wanted it. It's so pretty. I love the purple, but this is one of those mirrors where it's like you can like normal mirror and then it goes to like five times on the opposite side. I had to get some body washes and Soap and Glory has one of my favorite body washes. So the first one I got is Magnifi Coco. Smells so good. I love a body wash that literally lathers up a lot in the shower, but also I love a body wash that you can smell the scent hours after you're out of the shower. These are amazing. I just wanted to restock on these because I just finished my last one. But um, yeah, this one is coconut and sweet vanilla. And then I got a more fruity one. This one is Call of Fruity. And then I'll show you guys a close up of this one in case you are curious about it. This one has tropical fruits and hibiscus. They both smell so good. So like there's mango and mandarin extracts in this. Oh, so yummy. I love, love, love. So these are 40, these were 40% off. So you know I was having a good time and they're gonna last me a while. I usually get like two at a time. Once I finish the second one, I go and I buy another one. This was something I was not gonna buy. I was not gonna buy this. This came out a while ago, but they had a display at Ulta and I sprayed this. I sprayed this and it looked beautiful maybe i should have gotten this during the summer but i just thought this was going to be messy like a messy type of oil this is the tree hut tropic glow shimmering mist so i like to wear a lot of shirts that kind of like show a lot of like my chest and everything and my shoulders and i just feel like this is gonna look so beautiful you know like a nice little glow i'm excited to try this out these last two items are set and the deals, the deals and the value on these sets, they're so insane. So I have been eyeing this. It was just too good not to get right now. I was like, why am I gonna wait? ABH, this is the Lip Luster Duo. This was $23, but the ABH glosses are $20 on their own. 
So this is a really, really good deal. A really, really good deal. And they're two full-sized glosses. I've never tried their glosses before, but I'm really excited about this. So this first shade is called Guava. Do they have a scent? Kind of smell like cake, vanilla -y. Now this one's a very milky nude, like very white and milky, but on top of a nude lip in the center, I feel like this will be gorgeous. Very interesting that they put this particular shade in this duo. Now this shade is stunning. It's a really pretty cool tony nude. And this is in the shade taupe. Really beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Hopefully these are not sticky, but I really, really like taupe. I don't get a lot of use out of the first shade. Essentially, these are like $20 glosses, and I got this for $23, which I think is such a good deal, but I will be using both of these. I just love the value sets we're getting this year because you they're really good value for the price. Hopefully, we see more of these in different shades because I would definitely buy them. The last product I picked up recently is the Good Girl Rollerball Set. So you get three full-size roller balls from the good girl line for $35. Listen, you're literally getting two roller balls for free. $35 is usually like the typical price for a roller ball. And I've been wanting to try out the good girl line. I really, really have. Every time I go in the store, I smell them. But then I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like it. You know what I mean? Like I need to spray it on myself, wear it out everywhere and really get a feel for it the scent so now that i have this if i like any of these i can get the full size and i'm glad i got this now because the sephora sale i believe is in like november this year which is i don't know why it's in november it's usually earlier than that but if i like any of these i can get the full size during the sephora sale so i was thinking about stuff like that but i think this is such a good deal so you get the Very Good Girl, Good Girl, and Good Girl Blush, which is one of the newest ones, which I think is also such a steal. If you've tried the Good Girl line, let me know down below which one is your favorite. I'm very curious to know, but that is it for my Ulta haul. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if any of these products are on your wish list. Let your girl know down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Uh, uh, uh.